What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. Today we're making a custom mug. This might just be part of a video or a whole video. I don't really know yet. On the Patreon page, the highest tier, if you pay like 50 bucks a month, then you get a custom mug. And so I have one patron, Amy Savage, who did that. And so her custom mug that we're making for her is like an eight ounce mug for tea with a lid on it that says Huga. That's what we're doing right now. We're gonna get on the wheel and we're gonna start throwing that mug for Amy. So shout out Amy Savage. Thanks so much for supporting me on Patreon. If anyone else wants to go over to the Patreon page, I always want to say patron, not Patreon. Patron Treon. Anyway, you can support me financially over there. There's some fun stuff. I'm sending pottery to patrons every month. Without further ado, let's get on the wheel and start throwing this mug. So, first thing we gotta do, start with some clay. I'm gonna measure this clay. I think for, we'll start with a little less than three quarters of a pound. Take my ring off, but I am married. So as far as the shape, I'm gonna kind of make the shape pretty simple. Just because I know that the glaze is gonna be pretty complicated with the drips and then the lid's gonna be on there too, so I don't wanna get too like fancy with the shape. All right, there we go. I'll say when that shrinks, it'll maybe be like 10 ounces or so, but pretty good. So now, since we're doing a lid on here, I'm gonna measure with these calipers. I'm gonna like get right inside there and measure so that we can throw the lid the exact size so it'll fit right on there. Okay, now we're gonna throw the lid, which I measured, will be exactly, we want it to fit inside of that. Boom. Boom! So the lid, I'm actually gonna throw it upside down so that when we turn it over it'll it would fit into the mug so I'm first just having that flat surface and then we want a little rim in there right so I'm just making a little mark with the calipers so that we know where to put that rim I measure this, I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go, so I wanna make sure that this is at least just slightly smaller than this so that it really can fit in there. But we probably don't want the lid like that big. I don't really know, I've never made a, a lid for a mug before, I'm not quite sure. But I'm gonna trim it off just a little bit. So it's better to start with a little bit too much clay. There we go, and then when this is dry enough, can you see that? Flip it over and then put like a little, little ball of clay on top so it's got a little, nice little lid. If I want to, I can also kind of test it out. I think that'll work out splendidly. All right, so now we just gotta let these dry. Let this dry a little bit so we can put a handle on it. Let dry that dry so we can put a little thing. And then we'll just put the words Huga, H-Y-G-G-E, which the definition of that again is ding. Somewhere on the screen, I'll put it in. And there we go. Thanks so much, Amy Savage. We'll see how much time we have for recording the rest of the process, but it'll probably be two, two and a half weeks before the mug is done. We got lots of whew, glazing to do, lots of handles to put on. This is the custom mug for my patron, Amy Savage. So she wanted 
a mug for her tea. So this lid fits right on here and she wanted it to say Huga in there. So H-Y-G-G-E, which we know means something like cozy and like candles. I don't, you know, it's really hard to explain. Maybe I'll just put the definition right here. So anyway, this lid, I put a little uh, notch in there because it's for tea, so the tea steeps in there and then has like string or whatever that comes out of there. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it actually. I hope, uh, I hope Amy likes it. I think she will. So anyway, now we just gotta fire this and then we'll come out and we'll glaze it and then we'll put it back in the kiln and then it'll be ready to go. And so it's got a little rim in it so that it won't slide off. Fun, it's been a fun project so far. It was a good idea. Good idea, Amy. Thanks for supporting me over on the Patreon page. All right, we'll see you on the next step. And it is bisked, and so it's got this lid on it, and so now we're gonna glaze it. And she wants nice, drippy glazes. So the plan <clears throat> is to pour the glaze inside, and then we'll do a little swirl around the top, and then we'll do two more layers of glazes so that after that, then it drips. And then on this one, not so sure what we're gonna do on this one yet, on the lid. But we'll figure something out. Let's do it. this off. The final glaze for this custom mug. This mug for Amy Savage. I'm really happy with it. It says H G H Y G G E, and that lid fits perfectly. And it also has that little cutout so that the tea strainer can go through. But that turned out really, really good. Come here, buddy. Ryder, come here. Look, that's it, guys. We followed this mug all the way from throwing. Look, look at the screen. We followed this mug all the way from throwing <sighs> to glazing to coming out of the kiln. Custom mug for Amy, one of our patrons. So, got the lid for the tea. That was fun. It's November 1st right now. So, when did we start this? Hey, bud, come back here. So, it's a long process. The pottery, this is a whole process right here, start to finish. It's not easy. It's a process, that's for sure. Hey, come back here. If you're interested in the Patreon, check out link in the description below. We're giving away pottery every month. Basically, it's just for people that want to support me, you know, making videos isn't free, the gear is expensive, it takes a lot of time. So, to say, hey, I support these videos, I want them to keep coming, I want the quality to be there, that's what the Patreon page is. If you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, hit the bell button to be notified whenever I post. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for all your support. We love it! I have the best subscribers on the YouTube universe. In the YouTube universe. <sighs> Me and Ryder love you. Right, Ryder? Is that fun? <laughs>
Time to turn the camera off.